Now, these guns, recommendations, and all out choices that we've made have been compiled by me, a couple of friends, just to get an overall result. Now, this is just my opinion, and I hope you enjoy this video. Hopefully, you could learn a couple of things. I doubt it, though. And, um, hope you enjoy. Now, we'll head on to the assault class with my man. Here's the weapons Strottinger, Gewehr, M19 Carbine. All these guns are just pretty ones. I'll show you a bit later what they're like and which ones we're going for. I'm just going to showcase of all the guns out of here. Now, I'll also show you the sidearms. There are multiple pistols, and like Battlefield 1, where you had like a selected pistol for each class, kind of there's a couple. This just has it all for all the class, and you still got the tiny pistol that does squat damage to anyone that's like comes from Ranger using it. I'm not going to show you the melee weapons or any of the grenades and stuff, mm, not at the minute. Now, these are submachine guns for the medic class, which I'm surprised the medic class only has submachine guns, but. You know, I'm okay with that. I wish other classes had a couple, but doesn't look like it. My favourite one, actually I'm not going to say that until you we get into the main kind of showcase of why we like these guns. Support. Now, support I don't really play a lot. So these, this opinion is mainly by my friends. Um, the MG is weird because you aim, I think it's the MG. I don't know if it's the 34 or the 42. But you don't actually aim down sides, you just hold it at a side angle like that and go foof foof foof, you, you can only can hit fire it really. The M30 drilling, I'm going to get onto that because that one's fun to use definitely. A rifle shot inside of it, instead of the two shells you have the rifle shot which you, you just snipe with, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that one that you just hold by the side and hit fire it. I can't be showing you any of the, of the guns like that, the Vigo or... Any guns right at the bottom, sadly. See how class the class I definitely played the most. That is my Lee Enfield, I've got a pimped out a little bit. Show you sir. So. it's weird that you have self loading rifles on here, I wouldn't expect that, but hey ho, don't mind it. The Gewehr, I think I pronounce it, sorry if I pronounce any of these guns wrong, I've had so much trouble with. I am down sight, so I see an enemy and like they're so close to me, I'll probably, oh no, I can't show a clip. Anyway, they're like the heads there, crosshairs on their head. I've tried above it, below it, on the head. This doesn't seem to work. If you watch my last stream, there was been a couple of points there where it just doesn't work properly. It's annoying. But a lot of people like the Car 98K, which I can't really find reason. Most damaging sniper rifle, but still you got to really be aiming more to headshots in this. Not just body shots. Now this is testing the weapons. Personally, I feel like the Lee the Lee Enfield is the best because the Car 98K has poor reloading speed. The Gewehr, I just I, I just hate it because I can't shoot it. I don't know if it's me or the gun itself. But look how slow that is. Like it takes forever to shoot. It's just so annoying for me. And if you go onto the uh, Lee Enfields, this I am more like a shoot, pop up, get back down, shoot again kind of person. See how fast that is? I'll compare it with the Car 98 case. So, I mean, not the, yeah, the Car 98 case, so you can see comparison. But boom, choo -choo, boom, choo -choo. now if I do it with this. Do 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 do, and the layer feels like I'll, most damage in okay, but no, there is definitely the gotta be the Liam field that's the winner for that. Now, if we move on to the self loading rifles, we have many the RSC, there's Z, I can't pronounce half of them, the ZH 29. Like, I don't, I don't really like some of these. The RSC is pretty good, but the recoil is mad on that. So that's one of the main reasons I'm not a big fan of the RSC. Personally, I am not really a fan of any of them, so it's kind of a hard decision to make. 
But this is even worse. Like it's a five round clip, you got barely any shots and the recoil's a little better but still. So I feel like out of all of them, I think I have to say the RSC is the best out of that, definitely. Now moving on to a bit like the heavy submachine guns all the shotguns I like the drilling without a barrel I love the invisible barrel drilling that's definitely my favorite one <laughs> like what is that I gotta change the yeah bullet I'm not bullet the round see that right there is fun just getting headshots of it like I did a long shot here but I couldn't really tell if it actually hit it did hit but I did, can't tell where it hit because if you look I went up close to it and it just was not there like you couldn't tell so now moving on to the heavy machine guns like I said I don't know about this so don't take my word for this uh, this is my two friends ideas personally if you look like I like a couple of them but the MG it's pretty okay but the recoil on it is just massive not really a gun I want a bit of control with it but if you look into the gun I'm about to come on to it's just like what do you mean like look that's aiming so definitely not that as I soon found out but overall I feel like the Bren gun is a good one because it's portable, very accurate, powerful. The only thing I don't like with it is the magazine size, but I can work with that. Just quickly dip behind a quarter, reload, pop up again. That's good, I can easily do that. Now, for the submachine guns, I, I'm not sure. Well, no, I am sure. I rather like the MP40 or the MP. Those are the two, in my opinion, that are joints with this. Like I show you, I just, I'm just a fan. Oh, it's not meant for really. It's meant for in buildings, up close, personal kind of people. So. I'm not really too bothered, but if I go to the MP4, slow fire rate right, for better control. So MP40, I meant. So that's that seemed pretty good as well. <laughs> Couple of hip fire at the end there. Now going on to the kind of man assault rifles slash rifles. Now for the rifles, I like. Turner SMLE. That's my winning vote. Mainly because it packs a punch. It's f f it's got a bigger ca no. It's it packs a punch. It's got a better fire rate than the Gewehr, and it just seems like a cool gun to use. That's pretty much my reasoning because. See, that's the 300 and the other one's 310. Not a big difference, but still could help you. The machine guns, definitely without a doubt. This. The recoil panel turn is just straight up, so easy to control. I've had so much luck with this gun. So, I could definitely say that is my winner. Without a doubt. It's not weird, like, ooh. S the stars being behind here. I'm flowing through a space of eternal darkness. Woo. Now I know this video isn't the best. I um didn't really know what to do, or how to present, or how to make it come across. But I just wanted to upload a Battlefield 5 video, my opinions of the guns that are in the game, and show off a bit, a little bit, a bit like the green screen. To see what I can do with the uh, software that I'm using, which is Share Factor and the PS4. So, if you want to see any like Battlefield 5 gameplay, which would be probably the Scout using the Lee Enfield, then 
please comment down below what you want to see or like what game.